we're doing is you can't really see that really there, there you go so that's the step we're at right now we're then going to uh, eventually we'll start cutting out some of the uh, we'll start cutting out some of the pieces in there um, to you know cut out these little individual pieces once it's dried the great stuff has cured to a good point and now what we're gonna do we've got all the sticks cut that we want cool sticks okay and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna trim this off let's use handy knife. Come for a shave, have you lad? Virtually flat surface, cauldron to sit on. Um, I'm gonna wait to cut this until after I get all of the, uh, all of the, um, all the wood on. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get our hot glue gun. Yeah. Look at this. Boom. Two of them. Because she wanted one just like I got for Christmas. So now we both have one. Couple that haunts together stays together, huh? So what we're going to do is we're going to unplug the hot wire knife because that did not prove to be advantageous. And now... We're going to use the hot glue. Hot glue. Glue. Glue, glue, glue. All right. Um, so while we're waiting for that to hook up, I don't even know if you can see me, but um, we are, we were supposed to get a huge storm today. Didn't happen. Uh, I kind of figured it wouldn't, and I, I knew it wouldn't affect us anyways. It would, other parts of Oregon got a storm. A couple of places got a tornado on the coastline, but other than that, um, it barely even got to, Portland um, and when it did it was like half the strength of what they said um, out here we got almost nothing we actually had blue skies and dry pavement till about an hour ago um, and now it's just now it's actually starting to clear up again so we didn't get hardly anything out here so actually I probably could have done a lot of stuff in the yard today but we didn't really have a lot to do um, the wind did damage it knocked over all three of the trees um, that I put up I don't know if we'll be able to save them so we're gonna go probably put a graveyard in um, I'm gonna paint some tombstones this week and get those into the into the yard because I just don't think those trees are gonna withstand the weather out here. So um, that's okay. Uh, we kind of knew that kind of going into those trees. If we were we bought them for really cheap, uh, it was to support the West Coast Honors Convention, so it didn't it wasn't a waste. Um, and uh, so we'll we'll just we'll we'll see. Maybe two of them I, I might be able to save. Um, one of them was pretty caved in where it fell. It fell actually onto the fence and then and then brought the fence down with it. So um, I doubt it's going to be salvageable. So we'll uh, we got some glue drippage. So let's see how this works. <laughs> spray painted this first huh well guess what folks this will be the back of it so let's go back to spray painting it you know the thing is I gotta say that literally for the cost of this one dollar uh, bin here say glue sticks because I mean but if you don't have glue sticks and you're a haunter I don't I don't know what to do for you uh, but glue sticks and some and some sticks of wood and some great stuff so two four bucks for that or whatever basically this thing could I'm making a cauldron fire for ten bucks maybe a little less already had the uh, Christmas lights uh, so the orange lights uh, so got two more of these to put on that in there hold that for a few minutes seconds whatever so the next thing is we'll cut out this middle section here so we've got lots of room for the vortex 
and then I think we're gonna try, we're gonna test out this vortex. Um, we're gonna cut a hole, almost this, once I cut this out, I'm gonna cut a hole the same diameter in the bottom of the uh, uh, cauldron. I don't know how I'm gonna do that yet. Remember to always keep your work area clean and tidy. Or don't, whatever. All right, so we're still recording. That's good. I'm blocking the light. That's awesome. So as of right now, you now see that we have a nice, cool-looking cauldron under there. Let's see. Now, mind you, this space... God, I'm really blocking that light. Let's do this. So right here, this area right here, because some of the foam is not... Uh, colored this will be facing backwards so this will be facing Ashley and this side will be so then we'll have the other side it looks all nice so all right let's turn this on and see what it looks like bring the electricity over here see I did not test out the lights and they do not work all right, here we go. I fixed the lights. So we're gonna see what this looks like. Ready? Here we go. Ooh, oh, and it's that one. No, and I got sticking out. Anyways. Oh, that looks good. All right, ladies and gentlemen. So, is super crude, and I don't know if it's gonna work for the whole time. I, I I'll have to figure out with with a different rig if if it, if this fails. But right now, it's fail. It's succeeded with it even um, bumping it. So what this is, is that's the laser vortex in the box. The fog machine is down there. I'm gonna build a rig for that so that it sits straight up and down, but shoots it shoots the fog either on either side of this, of this fog, of the, of the laser vortex, probably in front of it. I'll probably have it mounted in there. But so there's, of course, there's zip ties. I know. So it's actually at an angle. This this end is higher up than this end because this is an oblong. It's an oval shaped um, laser vortex. Just how the thing rotates. So basically, what I have is I have fog machine and I got the laser vortex and I've got that. So let's see how it works. So we've got we've already been doing some fog, so you're gonna see some. So you see that you see that, and you have that go up. Now, obviously, we'll be using the quick dissipating fog, so this will look much different, but it does have to have fog, and then when it clears, so you actually do get, and I'll go around the front here, so we can kind of see what it looks like from people that will be seeing it, is that's generally how it will look when somebody's looking at it. So, the laser vortex, as you can hear, is loud, but it's not going to be on that long. It's only going to be on for a couple seconds, so that she can, she'll, she'll push the button with her foot, then she'll push the, she'll, um, at basically the same time as the fog. So the fog will go up, the lights will come on, and this will show this for a few seconds, and then she'll turn it off. And that's when she'll be done with it. So her spiel, or whatever she says, will lead up to this. And then she'll turn that on, She'll turn, and then she'll turn all this off. The fog will still be in the room, and since it's quick dissipating techno fog from Foggy's Fog, uh, it will go away very fast. Um, this was just a quick blast, and you can see how long it's, it's staying in here. Um, so I've noticed that the vortex kind of dims a little bit. I'll have to see about that. Uh, so generally it might also be because the fog is dissipating too. But um, so we're gonna move it over a little bit because as you can tell, it's 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 broadcasting onto that guy. So we'll move the cauldron over a little bit more so that it goes away. But this is generally what people are gonna see. We have all kinds of candles in here um, and she'll have some candles up here lit up. Um, and uh, we're gonna cobwebs and all kind of stuff too. So um, she's got some cool writing on the walls and stuff. So, uh, but yeah. So I think that's generally. I think that we're kind of done. I am gonna lift this up a little more. As you can tell, you can still see some of the Christmas lights. So I'll have to. This is this is gonna be the back anyways. But so we'll flip that around. We'll lift it up one more time with some more boards. Put some black curtain material underneath it so that we can cover the boards but leave the the coals and then we'll make a box for the fog machine and we should be good to go.